Oh, once he sets this up, all of you guys are doing everything your body's telling you to do. You're sitting back on your heels, you're trying to push away, right? But at some point, if he has this part cut off, right, and you start to go for that push, right, if he's stronger than you, you're wasting all your time trying to push him away, all right? Now, if he's already set up and you have this broken down and he starts to fill that choke, just before you're about to go out, we're gonna phone home, all right? So I push down his arm, he's setting this up, I touch my ear. Now, there's no more choke, okay? I didn't break his grip, but I survived that initial choke, all right? And once I've survived the initial choke, now I can reset. And if he opens the guard, I have my opportunity to go double on the single. All right? So you learn that move, right? You break, you push, boom. All right, great, fantastic, it's excellent. However, if you get caught and you're already here, this is probably not gonna work, right? You're already in that point where you're gonna go out, so here, phone home, right? Now, look, I'm keeping my limbs in. I'm gonna start to push away and break, okay? That's all I got. So same thing if he goes to mount. Right. Pete kind of already showed the setup for it. Right. He sets this up. Look, I'm gonna weave through the phone hole. Right. Now I'm done. There's no more choke here. Now I wait to see which way his weight goes. If he starts to go here, look, I turn. But I'm keeping my arm where his cutoff is for the karate. Right. If I can start to break, hit, recover half guard. All right? So the key to this is don't, don't cut off your karate. So I like to just go and pull it up. All right, one, two.